Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and I wanted to welcome you to our brand new laser shop slash studio. In a workshop bathed in neon light Where lasers hum and dreams take flight Fresh Start Customs stands tall and proud Creating designs that draw a crowd From intricate patterns to sleek and bold Their laser cut magic, a story untold Wood, acrylic, leather and more The craft wonders you'll adore First Start Customs, where creativity ignites Laser beams dance, painting the nights From coasters to signs, their files are gold Turn them into treasures, let your story unfold now that you guys got a quick peek at the studio, um, we're gonna talk about everything that this has to offer, how I built it for just under 400 bucks, and um, we're gonna go from there. So obviously the equipment isn't included in that cost here, but you probably remember seeing me do videos in front of the, this Hulk here before um, on this fake wood wall made of like uh, laminate flooring. So what I did is I created other false walls next to it. So I created that false wall, this one, and this one way over here. And I think it turned out great. After that, what I wanted to do is come up with um, shelving um, as well as like tables. So what I had the idea of doing is using metal shelving and cutting it in half and creating workbenches out of it. Once I found this one on Amazon, this one already came in two pieces, so I didn't even have to cut them. So if you wanna do something like this, it's a very easy way to create two workbenches. Each of these units were about $130 for two of them. So you get two for about 130 bucks. So all together is about $260 for all four tables here. Um, and then with that, we had about anywhere from 50 to $70 in wood, I'd say, between the, the actual uh, two by twos that I used, the false walls, um, I used the cheapest thing that I could find on that, it was like an MDF material, um, and then these two shelves up here. I 3D printed the brackets for the shelves, um, and then I did have these LED strips left over from my other shop, so I just threw up some LEDs. Uh, the other cool thing about this shop is I got most of the stuff voice activated except for the lasers themselves because I don't want to damage the lasers on accident, but all of the filters are voice activated by my Google Home application here. So I can say a command and it'll turn on like a filter so I can turn on like the laser pecker filter, the we create filter, the Xtool uh, F1 Ultra, which is the AP2. Um, or the mini F1 filter. All of those are controlled by my voice um, as well as the lights. So I'll show you the lights because I don't want to turn on the filters right now. Hey Google, turn on laser lights. And as you can see, I got both lights wired in conjunction that they both turn on at the same time with the sound of my voice here. So as the intro video that you've seen, I had all the lights turned off and then I did that laser command for the lights here and then that's why it illuminated at the start. So hopefully you thought that was kind of a cool transition here. Um, off to the side, I'm gonna show you this here in just a second, but there's basically a TV screen with a mini computer hooked up to control some of these lasers. And then right behind me is my main laptop that I do all my lasers with um, and control all these different lasers with as well. Um, down below on the side here, we also have a 3D printer and uh, laser the like loc and behind me there is laser the p2 from acmere that you've probably seen in a recent video that we did um, but we're going to start off right here so you have, since you have a good view of this um, first up we have like our 3d prints just as a filler for now this is going to be where future laser engravers go so everything that's on the top here is going to be a galvo or fiber laser the reason why is these do get a little shaky if you put a laser on them um, if you don't have like the middle strut here. Uh, so like the one over here and the one over here, they don't have middle struts because I ran out of shelving. You only get five shelves per unit. So you're only gonna get three shelves on one unit and two on another unit. So if you end up buying these for tables, just keep that in mind. Now you can make these pretty sturdy by adding like wood sheets in there. I'm just not gonna do that for right now because I have plenty of Galvo lasers that's gonna be fine and they're not gonna shake the tables here. 
Uh, first up, we have the XTool F1. Um, if you don't know this, this is probably one of the fastest little portable machines that XTool has for like craft show events. Um, they did just release the F2. They announced that just a few days ago. So hopefully we can get our hands on that. That'll be cool to be able to review that too, if we can. Um, otherwise, we have the F1 Ultra. So this is the big brother to the F1. This thing flies. This has uh, like a fiber laser in it. It is diode laser in it as well. Um, so this thing is probably my favorite machine that I own. <laughs> um, but a second closest favorite would be this We Create Lumos here. So the Lumos is pretty comparable to the F1, but it is a little bit stronger and um, it has a three watt IR laser in it. And overall, I think it's a little bit easier to use. Then we have the Laser Pecker 5 here, and then uh, we have the air filter for it down below as well. And the Laser Pecker 4 and the Longer Nano here. Uh, we also at the very end have the Mumbai uh, Thermal Printer. So I actually use that to print off labels for all of our stuff here. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you each section at a time to show you what I'm talking about with like the labels um, and accessories. And before we go to that view, because you won't be able to see up top anymore, the top up here has accessories for like the We Create uh, Lumos here, the extension tray, uh, the rotary tool, and the um, extension arm for the other We Create um, machine out in the shop. And then over here we have the, extens the extension for the F1 Ultra and the rotary tool as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and get a closer look from this view down on each section and we're gonna talk about that. All right, you guys, so I wanted to share with you the left side of the shop first. Uh, if you start over here, this is that Mumbai thermal printer that I was telling you about. I created all the labels for the accessories below. And my idea here was is if you have a machine, the accessories will be right below it here or above it, depending on how big the items were. So I showed you that, that we create extension earlier that was above. That was just because it's too big to fit down here. But we have the longer Nano Pro, and then right here is the longer Nano Pro accessories in this box here. I got these from Walmart. They're about seven bucks each. They work great. Same thing with this uh, bigger one down here. This one is about $7 too, so you can pick your choosing on which one works best for you. Uh, we have the Laser Pecker 4, the LP4, which is that one there, and then the LP5, which is this one here. We also have the Mumbai that I just told you about, and all of the accessories, like the extra labels, are in that box there. Um, with Laser Pecker, we do have the air filter and the safety enclosure down below. The safety enclosure is huge, so I just kept it in the box there. And then last but not least, we have the We Create air filter here. This is not the We Create brand, but this is the regular OG XTool brand, but I use it for the We Create um, just because it's an extra filter since I have the AP2. With that said, let's jump over to the next section. All right, you guys, so continuing off of the left section, we have the We Create itself. I showed you the filter underneath, but since I didn't have any extra shelving there, I had to put all the accessories for it in this box right here. So all the We Create accessories are here. These are my laser blanks. You probably watched my laser blank video. If you wanna watch that, check that out for sure. That's a pretty good video to show you all the different kind of laser blanks that you can get for your devices. We have the main laptop here that's gonna control most of these lasers here. Um, and I'm gonna show you the other computer that's gonna control the rest here. Down here, I just put the P2 from Acmere. I just got this recently. I didn't have a spot for it quite yet, but this is gonna be the home for it for right now. But that'll probably change here in the future. And then we also have the F1 Ultra here and all the accessories for it fit in this little tray here. There's not very many that I need for it here but the other accessories I showed you are up above it. Um, and then we have the AP2 air filter here. Hopefully you can see that um, the power button and everything just sticks out just slightly and it works perfectly. And like I said, I can control this with my voice. I just tell my command to turn it on and it will turn on. Then I just hit power and I can turn the fan on however high of a speed I want. Um, with that said, we're gonna do the last two sections together because they're all in this corner here. All right, guys, so last but not least, we have the corner on the right side here. We have the F1 from Xtool, 
and we have the accessories for it down below in this box here. We also have the hat press um, from Viver and the heat press from Viver in there. And both of those boxes down there have the accessories for both of those units. So like I said, I'm trying to consolidate and keep everything in one place versus scattered throughout the house in different shops here. Um, these are the laser blank options too. So I'm gonna put future laser blanks in here. Right now, these three are empty, but I have three of those same kind of toolboxes that I did on the left side. Um, we also have our 3D prints that we did. I really like these 3D prints, so I thought it was kind of a pop of color in here for now until we get new lasers to put in this corner here. And I also have our 10,000 subscriber plaque that I made for myself a while ago. Um, and I'm just happy with that. It looks cool. I thought it was an extra pop of color for now. So I'm just throwing in some things that I like with the shop too. Um, down below, we have the Loke-like gantry laser here. So the uh, Loke-like we've done a video on as well. So if you wanna check that out, check that out. We also have a 3D printer. This is the A1 from Bamboo Labs here. Um, I put it on the bottom because like I said, if you put something on top, this can kind of shake a little bit. See if I'm applying pressure, it will shake a little bit here. Um, so I just put that on the bottom so I can do my 3D printing there without the table shaking. And then last but not least, we have the Google Hub here. This is what controls my voice for the lights that I showed you earlier. And we have the computer itself, which is hooked up to this TV. It's just a mini computer that sits in the legs of the TV there. So overall, I'm really happy with how the shop has turned out. Um, I do have one bonus area to show you that's not part of this section here. So I don't have a false wall for it or anything, but we went ahead and moved the Atom Stack Hurricane down here too on a different table. So I'm gonna show you guys that section as well for those who stuck around long enough to check it out. All right, you guys, so last but not least, if you stuck around, I'm showing you the bonus area with the Atom Stack Hurricane. This machine is a monster in size, so I had to create a table that worked just for itself here. So I got this sturdy one from Amazon here. You need it to be at least 30 inches inside if you're gonna be using any kind of ventilation on this, which you must be using ventilation on this for it to work properly. So if you're gonna be getting the Atom Stack Hurricane, make sure you get a large table and a dedicated area for it like I did here. This is on the left-hand side of the shop if you're wondering where it's located, around the corner of where we started. Um, we also have our MacBook Pro set up here that's gonna be running the unit. And then we have some laser projects that we created like the six tray display, the pinball uh, machine, and the popcorn holder here. If you guys are interested in laser engraving files, check it out in our shop, Fresh Start Customs on Etsy. I'll put a link down for that below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the new shop. We're gonna be creating a lot of videos in this shop here and we'll catch you guys in the next one.